So we just had one of the coolest homeschool days we've had in a while. Um, and we were due for a win. It's been rough lately. Um, but anyways, we I am a huge fan of these Tinker Active books. I have Tinker Active Math in both the kindergarten and first grade level and Tinker Active Science at kindergarten level. And we pulled out the first lesson in that science book today, and it's about weather. So, you know, we're talking about weather. They are coloring pictures of weather. They're describing it with words. Um, there's an activity where they actually go outside and they pretend like they're running to the car or the bus stop in all the different kinds of weather um, just lots of giggles but then it ended with this really cool engineering project and we basically took cotton balls and had to protect the cotton ball from all the different elements of the weather um, and through this whole process I, we, we see the scientific method being played out and I'm not like really going into the specifics of that yet it's kindergarten folks but it's laying the foundation for what science is going to look like for the rest of their education and it was so fun like we spent an entire hour running around and giggling and um, having different ideas fail and no one feeling like like that was a failure, but laughing about it. How else can, what else can we try? How else can we grow and learn from this? It was unreal, so much fun. So here's the whole video um, of it. I've tried to cut out little pieces, but it's pretty long. Um, feel free to watch pieces, to scroll ahead to see how it ends. Um, use this as inspiration, but you guys really should check so out. So Frank has this pet cotton ball. He's got to play with outside and keep dry. So your job is going to be to try to figure out how to keep maybe Frank's we cotton ball. Maybe we ideas. should like um, maybe we should get some like um paper and cover it around him and use some tape so um he can be outside and um so not get wet. Okay, what do you think? And um, what I think is um. We could put a coat around around him so he. Do you have a coat that will fit the cotton ball? Dry. Maybe we could use one of our toy coats. Let's think about it. All right, you guys ready to try? Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Is your cotton ball going to stay dry? Yes. Is your protection? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it's getting Pull it out. <laughs> Pull it out. Uh oh, knocked over in the kitchen. <laughs> Is it wet? Um, um, not that, not really. I oh. feel it. Ooh, it's not bad, but he is a little wet. Okay, right. Ada. Let's see. Number two is paper. Yes, pumpkin paper. Is paper. <laughs> really hard. Wet. What do you think? Um, not get wet. I don't want to get wet. I don't think it's because I, uh, I would say she's sick. <laughs> <laughs> is, hold is it. that one good or no? Hold it. No. Where's my teeth? No screaming. Does it do it? <gasps> it feels pretty dry. <laughs> Did it keep him safe? He's, safe. He's still kind of safe. Why do you think yours got wet? Um, because because um it was rolling around and that was make and all the wetness it was inside um made it more wet. So the coat did get wet eventually? Yeah. Okay. Right, Hazel decided she wanted to try it with parchment paper. Okay, should we pour water on top and see? This is Hazel's creation. Uh-oh, did it get wet? Is it wet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it got wet. Oh, man. So this is my how I have done with my design. And, um... So I think it'll work. What'd you what did you build it out of? Um uh, so I used cardboard so I used some cardboard and cut it this small mm -hmm. and then I used some tape and I 
tape is Let's see if this guy gets wet. And, and I'm trying to... And trying to okay, um, so before we test your whole thing, what did you decide you wanted to test first? I... Uh, we were going to test this. Just, just plain cardboard? Yeah. Does it keep things dry or no? I don't... Uh, no, it's the, the inside. So is that going to work, do you think? I think I'll try another idea. Or you can keep your idea, but figure out how you can reinforce it. You can put another layer. And that I made this ball, a big ball, and I think it's never going to get wet. Okay. But first I'm going to add a well, little bit more. All right, let's go test you and Allie's. Come on, come on around here. Come on, let's go. All right, Allie's. What is yours made out of? Um, It's made out of foil, I think. Wax paper. Wax paper. And it's made out of wax paper. And uh, and there's like three layers, maybe four, but there's like three. But um, I I doubted that it's three um layers, so I don't think it will get wet. Okay, and some tape, right? Yeah, there's both tape. All right, come on up next to Allie, Ada, and yours. What are the layers in there again? Um, the, the so first I put cardboard. Um, so first I put cardboard. Um, and then I got um, some stuff. Lots of foil. And then I put lots of foil on it. All right, ready? And Move. Then, let's there see. we go. Our accents. So if my don't touch. Can... Don't touch. But before you unwrap it, we're going to go try the other test too. Okay? Pick it up. Let's make, everyone should make a raincoat out of wax paper. 